what's up Doc and fam? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm actually going to talk about um, some strategy assessment when it comes to where to spend your money and why. Having to do with the new Dragonstones that came out as well as the beginner ticket that you can buy in Pilaf's Trove. So, this assessment is based on my own goals and units that I have, so obviously yours may differ. But I think just taking some time really quick to show you my mindset when it comes to where I spend money in-game. As you guys know, I usually don't buy stones in-game because the deal's much better getting them from a third party. Um, but sometimes it is worth to buy stones in-game if you can get some extra prizes out of it. And although I think the Pilaf's Trove is extremely overpriced for what you get, sometimes it is worth spending money there as well. So, first things first, um, let's take a look at this third year anniversary Super Thanks pack. Uh, one time only, $44.99. As you guys can see, I have not purchased this yet. Um, and it comes with a Super Dragonstone 3 times 1, two Elder Kai's, two Diamond Hercule statues, um, a bunch of platinum turtle shells, and then a ton of orbs. And now, in my opinion, um, this is actually worth purchasing if you're going to use that stone to buy a unit that you really need but don't have yet. And I'm still on the fence about whether or not I'm going to purchase this pack. Um, just because I've been spending a lot of money on this game lately and I gotta keep it under control. Um, <laughs> but, you know, you do get a lot of training items, you do actually get a decent amount of orbs, and if there's a unit that you really need that you can use that Super Dragonstone 3-4, then it's worth it. And the Elder Kai's are also worth it as well. So, we'll talk about that when we get to the, the Treasure Trove. And then, as far as the beginner ticket, I already did purchase that. And I'll explain to you why. Let me find it really quick. So, right here. So, the beginner's pack, I did purchase this. It's only $10, and I think for $10, to get one ticket and 15 Dragonstones and a bunch of just random medals, Awakening medals, and Z-Swords, I think that's well worth the money. So, definitely purchase that if you've been thinking about it. Um, and then there's one more that you can get, and it's in the shop. I already purchased it, but I will post a screenshot really quick. Um, it's a one-time only Dragonstones, 77 uh, stones plus a bonus, and of course that bonus is the purple Dragonstone. So, yeah, I think this one's definitely worth it, at least for me, and I'll show you guys why when we get to the Treasure Trove. I mean, not only are you getting 77 stones for, for a much cheaper price than what you can normally pay in the store, but that purple Dragonstone can be used for some exclusive units, so let's head over to there really quick. So we're gonna go to the Exchange Treasure Shop real quick, and we're gonna go right to the end, and we'll start from there. Whoops, there we go. So for me, at least, okay, as you can see, I haven't used the ticket yet. Um, the units that I need out of here are the Super Vegito AGL. I need one more of him, one more dupe of him to rainbow my, my Super Vegito. Uh, for Super Gogeta, I need two more. I'm not really worried about Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. I don't really use him right now. Um, but the only other unit here that I would need is the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And if you scroll down, obviously there's other units, but these other units um, I do get quite often. For me, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku is like always avoiding me. Almost as much as Super Saiyan 4, well not, not as much as Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, because I still haven't pulled him yet. But for me, I'm probably going to get this Super Saiyan 3 Goku because I've already pulled at least four of those Super Vegitos, and I'm gonna be hitting the, the Ally Vegito banner a few more times before it goes away, and I have a sneaky suspicion that I will get my last dupe of him. So, don't get super anxious. I mean, you have, what, like 40 days? Well, actually, no, with the beginner's ticket, you have an infinite amount of time to use. So don't jump the gun and use it as soon as you get it. Be strategic and if you're going to be summoning on these banners, wait to see what you get because you could easily pull both Gogeta and Vegito out of those new banners that are out right now. Uh, now let's go to uh, uh, God Dragonstone 3. Now once again, now I actually need 
two dupes for my Super Saiyan 3 Goku to rainbow him. I already have his EZA completely done, he's Super Attack 15, but what I don't have is the last two dupes. So for me, because I always seem to have a hard time pulling this unit, like I barely ever pull him when he comes around, it would be worth it for me to use my Red Dragon Stone on him and my Beginner Ticket on him as well, so I can finally rainbow that unit because he is so powerful. Even with only two dupes, he's one of my most powerful units. Um, this perfect cell, I've, I've, I've actually had, I've gotten him at least probably 13 to 14 times just from regular summons, so I would never use a stone on him. Uh, this ultimate Gohan is trash. I've already finished this legendary Super Saiyan Broly. I actually have a dupe of him with him already rainbowed, so I do definitely don't need him. And then the only other one on here I would say to go after is maybe this Frieza full power, obviously because that Frieza dub does have an EZA coming. And if you don't have at least one of him, it would be nice, a good idea to get one of him so you can take advantage of the EZA event when it comes. Uh, but for me, I'm not too worried about it. I'd rather score my, my Super Saiyan 3 Goku because I use that unit a lot more often. Um, Super Janamba is available on the banners. Uh, this Beerus I don't use too often, but to be honest, I get him a lot, so I wouldn't waste the stone. These Goku, Gohan, um, and Goten, I already have too many dupes of them to begin with. They're kind of, they're, for me at least, I get them quite often, so it's not worth wasting a stone on. Uh, this Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta is actually a really good unit to have. He blocks like a tank, so it might be worth it if you don't have him yet to grab him, especially if you run a mono um, strength team, super strength team. Uh, and this Kid Buu, I mean, I, I wouldn't waste a stone on him. He does come around quite often. He's not super hard to pull. You will get dupes of him if you ask something on those banners. So for me, overall, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, this Broly, and this Frieza all have easy A events, so it'd be worth it to get one of those first. If you already have those three and you're trying to decide what else to get, um, I would either go with the Super Janamba or the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta just to get at least one. But the most important units are the easy A ones. And then let's talk about the Purple Stone, which as you guys know, I did purchase. Um, and looking on the banner really quick, Originally, I was going to use this stone to grab Super Gogeta because this unit has just eluded me for months. Um, however, now I finally have him and I have a dupe, so that scratches him off the list. I already have Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I think I need one dupe left for him, so I could use my stone to buy him and rainbow the unit. Um, my Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is already full rainbow. My Super Saiyan 4 Goku only has one dupe, so it could be good for me to get a dupe of him. My Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is 100% rainbowed. My Super 17, um, I only have one dupe, so it could be worth having an extra one of him. My Super Saiyan 3 Broly is 100% rainbowed. My Kid Buu is 100% rainbowed. My Super Janamba has like two dupes, and I mean, he's not some, a, a, a unit that I use all the time so maybe it's not really worth it for me. But what is worth it for me is this man right here, this uh, cooler final form. Guys, if you don't know, this cooler is one of the most powerful Fizz units in the game. Like, he is just an absolute monster. And when the new Turles category comes out, when you can use all of like the evil bosses all on one team, this is a unit that you definitely, definitely, definitely want to have. Uh, and in saying that, I'm so confident on what I'm saying right now. I have not been able to pull him. I have zero, zero units of this cooler. I'm going to grab him right now. Um, but for some reason, it's not letting me. Oh, <laughs> I have to wait because my, my, my inbox is full right now. But I will be grabbing this unit as soon as I clear up my inbox. <laughs> my character box. And then right here we have the Super Dragonstone 3, which is the one that's in the Pilaf's Cove right now. I think it's for the $44.99 that I said it may be worth purchasing. And if we take a look at the units, I mean, you're not really going to use this Broly. Um, all that often. You're probably not really going to use this Omega Shenron. 
This uh, Majin Buu is okay if you need him on an extreme int team because he can help replenish your health. Um, since Fizz Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks came out, most people usually go to him if they're using a fusion team versus this one. So for me at least, the only unit that I would, that I would really want to get on here, because my Omega Shenron and my Majin Buu are already at full rainbow. Well, not all the orbs are in, but I already have all their paths open just because I pull them a lot. I already have the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks all paths open. So for me, it's a toss up between Legendary Super Saiyan Broly um, and Super Vegito. And like I said earlier, I'm hoping to pull that Super Vegito out of the Vegito banner. So I have about 36 days left at the time of making this video. So it's worth it to me to at least wait until the very end to see what I get because I will be doing more summons. Um, and you know, it might be kind of a waste, but for me at least, I want to rainbow all my units. I haven't pulled a dupe Burly in a super long time. Um, I only have, I think, two dupes in this unit. And it, this was actually one of the first, the first week I started playing this game, this was one of the first SSRs that I got. And he was super helpful to me. Um, if you don't have a lot of good units and you want units that do multiple attacks, he's a great unit to have. He does TUR and his event to get all the medals really isn't that hard either, so it could be worth it for you, but I'm gonna wait until the very end. Hopefully I already have scored my Super Vegito, and if it makes sense, I might just pick this one up, not because he's the best unit, but just for completion purposes, and you get a lot more stuff with that $44 pack, so in the end, I think it is worth it, especially all the orbs you get out of it as well, so. That's kind of my strategy right now going for this. And what I would love is for you guys to tell me what you plan on doing down in that comment section below. Um, maybe there's some Broly banners coming that I'm just not aware of yet that you guys can let me know of so that I can focus on pulling on those banners versus wasting uh, money and pulling Broly out of the, the Dragonstone that I just showed you. Uh, but either way, if you guys have questions, post them down below and hopefully we can work together as a community to ensure that if you are going to do in-game purchases that you maximize what you're spending your money on. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to smash that like and subscribe button. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.